All right. I've never seen this before. And that means you haven't seen it before. And so let's go over this. Advantages of the Edison storage battery. The rugged construction and operating principle of the Edison nickel iron alkaline storage battery gives it advantages which are distinctly individual. Among these are it is light in weight, its nickel plated steel container is unbreakable, it may be left standing in any state of charge without injury, it may be discharged to zero voltage without injury, it may be short circuited without injury, it may be overcharged without injury. An accidental charge in the reverse direction will not injure the Edison battery. It is entirely free from ordinary storage battery diseases. Freedom from corrosive acid fumes permits its installation in close proximity to employees and to delicate apparatus. Its electrolyte cannot freeze. Its electrolyte is a preservative of steel. It increases in capacity during its first two years of service. It requires no internal cleaning, the active materials being held securely in perforated nickeled steel tubes and pockets. Its cells are hermetically sealed except for the single filler opening indicating conclusively that no plate renewals or other repairs are needed or expected. No frequent hydrometer readings are required. Its tray assembly and cell connections are extremely simple. It requires no spare parts. It does not require weekly equalizing charges. It requires no renewals of separators throughout its life. Its life is so long that its annual depreciation figure is considerably lower than that of any other battery. So let's check out this cutaway. Edison Nickel Iron Alkaline Storage Battery. Rugged Steel Container. Hard rubber sheet insulation. Increased space for solution. Corrugated steel spacer spot welded to steel container. Increased space for solution. Hairpin insulators. Bottom aperture to allow circulation of solution. This is a high wide type. So uh, this gives you terminology. Um, it gives you a good overview directly from uh, the storage by transportation magazine um, but they're pretty rare so there you go I hope you enjoy this and um, if you are interested in S and nickel iron alkaline uh, storage batteries uh, do subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be making videos uh, non-stop and if you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. <laughs> no, really, I need to make videos and grow my channel. Uh, it's getting bad. Uh, it's getting real bad. Um, so, at any rate, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, 
ask questions. Uh, I need good, I need some more questions and stuff uh, to make more videos. All right, here's some bonus material. Hold on, I'm gonna try to make this video ten minutes. Um, let's see. There's this one little snippet. Pretty interesting. Okay. Search for oldest battery narrows down. Who has the oldest Edison battery? Edison batteries purchased prior to 1913 remain in regular service on 14 railroads, six roads yet to be heard from. The search for the oldest Edison storage battery in railroad service is beginning to narrow down. When Mr. Edison became interested in the subject, the first step was an investigation of the early sales records which disclosed that 40 railroads had purchased Edison batteries prior to 1913. Mr. Meadowcroft's letter reproduced on this page was then mailed to them. Replies have now been received from 34 of these roads. 20 have retired their old batteries, 6 are yet to be heard from, and 14 as follows. Report batteries remain in regular service. Baltimore and Ohio, Chicago Great Western, Chicago, Milwaukee, St. Paul and Pacific, Denver and Rio Grande Western, Florida East Coast, Fort Worth and Denver City, Illinois Central, Missouri, Kansas, Texas, New York, New Haven, in Hartford, New York, Ontario and Western, Pennsylvania, Southern Pacific, Union Pacific, Wheeling and Lake Erie, Great Northern. Final verification of course awaits replies from the remaining six roads, although it is doubtful whether any of these have earlier batteries in service than those already reported in the a8 type, for example, which is earlier than either the A8H or the A8 height and width. One road reports that it has in service a battery cons consisting of cells numbered from number one up. In this type, this battery therefore consists of the first cells manufactured. It was purchased in March 1911 and thus is now in its 20th year of service. Another road makes an interesting comment that, is st that it still has in service the battery purchased for the first car which we equipped for electric lights. So I kind of messed up here. A8 is hi its height. Uh, A8 8 HW is height and width. So uh, the A8 was it was the first, which means there wasn't any extension. When you when you have the height, it means it's higher. It has more capacity for electrolyte, and the width it means it's wider, height and width. So it's higher, higher the height it has high, increased height and increased width. So see how that's wide. It's not a square on top. It's more of a rectangle. That would definitely be at least a width, and it'd be stamped up there on the top. What it would be, I, I have examples. I, I'll show you another video, just not right now. Um, Edison nickel iron storage batteries are economical and dependable in car lighting, multiple unit control, gas electric rail car signaling, motive power, and other railroad services. Edison Storage Battery Company, Orange, Orange, New Jersey. What I mean by car lighting is railroad car lighting. Um, let's see if I can get this letter in here. Uh, having hard focus problems here. Come on, kind of a.
there you go. There's some problems with the focus. So I'll just read it off the page here. Cable address Edison, New York. From the laboratory Thomas from the laboratory of Thomas Alva Edison, Orange, New Jersey. February seventeenth. Eh, it's not focusing. I'll just read it to you. February seventeenth, nineteen thirty. Uh, that's been that's been uh, struck out or something. Mechanical superintendent, something something company. New York, New York. Dear Sir, Mr. Edison, just prior to leaving on his annual trip to Florida, expressed a desire to obtain for test and for use in his collection the oldest Edison storage battery that remains in railway service as of December 31st, 1929. To whatever railroad may have it, he has authorized us to offer a new Edison battery of like kind in exchange. We are at, we are sending this letter to the mechanical superintendent, superintendents of all railroads that purchased batteries during 1908, 1909, 1910, 1911, and 1912. Your corp your cooperation will be greatly appreciated if you will advise us the oldest remaining in service on your road. Prior to 1913, serial numbers were not followed by a serial letter, as in subsequent years. Therefore, sales bearing numbers not followed by serial letters were manufactured during the years 1908 to 1912, and the oldest of your Edison batteries in which we are interested is the one containing lowest numbers. Mr. Edison's interest in the matter arose from the fact that when a 17-year-old Edison battery still of 100% capacity was exhibited last fall during the convention What is that convention? Yeah, conv during the convention of the Association of Railroad Electrical Engineers, railroad men who saw it remarked that they knew of numerous older Edison batteries that are still in service. We sincerely hope that you will be sufficiently interested in Mr. Edison's offer to cooperate in this under undertaking. If there is any further information that would be helpful to you, Mr. J. L. Hayes, Manager, Railroad Department, Edison Storage Battery Company, will only be glad to furnish it. Yours very truly. Um, well, it's, it's Mr. Meadowcroft right there. Uh, he was a major player uh, for Edison, major major assistant, so uh, I should be more familiar. Assistant to Mr. Thomas Alva Edison. Uh, so anyway, there's, there's a lot of players, a lot of characters and stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. We went over uh, advantages and um, the age, the... the the major uh, major fundamentals of the Edison nickel iron alkaline storage batteries. So, okay, well, you know what to do if you like this channel. Thank you very much.